It's going to be a really fun day today. Um, I often talk about dogs being our employees. Truthfully, a lot of people don't understand what I'm talking about. They shake their heads. Some are polite and agree, and some just think I'm crazy. But today we're going to kind of explore that, the levels of employees. We have all, all different levels. So we start with our um, big working dogs. It's like security and maintenance in a company. Our terriers are the executives, our herders, those are the accountants, the quality, you know, they keep track of everything, details. The sporting, those are our salesmen. The toys are our receptionists, like the candy stripers, just the lesser, okay. The non-sporting, that's quality control union rep. And our hounds, those are our peace workers. What's funny is, though, those are the separations of personalities, but there's all different levels in each one of those. So because all dogs started as wolves, they all possessed the ability to be any one of those things. By selective breeding, we've bred dogs to be specialists, and that means they can do a combination of jobs. And so today is going to be fun. It's going to show that how that works. Um, Pretty cool. So let's have some fun. All right. In this pen right now, our company's pretty small. Now, Willie is what? A peekapoo? Maltipoo. Maltipoo. Okay. Maltese, sm softest of the little dogs. Okay. He is definitely receptionist with a twinge of control. Okay. So the poodle is the non sporting dog that you know, pays attention to details, kind of tells you when you're wrong. Um, they're involved in a lot of different things, capable of many different jobs. Fun guy, but kind of, you know, keep track of details. We have Mr. Toby, a rescue chihuahua. Now, chihuahua, most toys were bred down from larger dogs. I mean, if they all started as wolves, obviously that's not. So. We've bred size, but we've left a bit of attitude. So Toby truly believes he's a wolf, only he's kind of short. So Toby is a guardy dog, size of a toy. This is Roy, Pomeranian, toy. This is the toy department. The toy department, they're wonderful dogs. But how would you like them to run a company? They would decorate the company. They would all have a good time. They would all be color coordinated. They'd all have their nails done, their, their you know, their hair done. <clears throat> and as far as that goes, they could run a small little boutique and they would be happy. Now, our boutique needs a sales girl or salesman. Jake is a salesman. He really doesn't care so much about the company. He just wants to have some fun. He wants to have some road trips, good expense account. And he's happy. He's, he's kind of the toy of the sporting dogs. So the level now, we're beyond toy. They still want to run the boutique. Happy, happy. Now we need somebody to build the jewelry in our boutique. We need a hound. Aren't they cute? We need a hound who can stay on task even when everybody else is having to care less about what the rest of them are doing. Oh yeah, her. Good dog. She doesn't see any sense in all this silliness. She's a soft dog. So she's toy-like with hound tendencies. Which is okay. Because we wouldn't want a great big hound in there. It would chase all these dogs. But you can see they do not understand each other much. But our 
boutique is still running okay. Now, because they're doing um, work in the public, oh dear, quality control union rep, we've got a little um, quality control little woman, a little guy, who works in the boutique, but he's not the big guy. Because, however, we're in the public, we need somebody from the public to come in and check us out, right? We've got to have all our licenses in order. Skippy could care less about any of these. Oh my gosh, the big inspector comes. I want to leave. I really don't want to be. Now, you be quiet. I know, the company's getting too big, isn't it? So you've got six dogs in here, all who think differently. Now, we need somebody in charge, is that correct? We need an executive. Dear. So <laughs> the little toy guy, he said, Yeah, you and whose army? Right? So Buddy says, Whoa, I don't know if I want to work for this company or not. He thought it'd be fun, but darn. They're not listening to him? He doesn't, hey, you be quiet. The hound is over here griping, not getting paid enough, wants to join the Now I've got a young woman that's joined the company here. She does have executive capabilities, but she's only worked in a small little, uh, what kind of store? Beauty shop. Okay, she's never run a big company before. Oh my goodness, what do I do with them? She worked in an office where it was her and somebody else. Or she did the job on her own. And I'm working for her either. <laughs> oh, stop this. Stop this right now. I'm not going to leave Good dog. Now we have a young man here who's capable of doing the job, but who's reluctant. He lacks the confidence to do the job. He's not assertive enough to do, to stand up and tell anybody what to do, including that little malty poo. One of the soft of the soft. Now, if he's going to go out and succeed in the world, he needs somebody to help him do it. Cassie's the same way. She's not really ever been in the position of power. So we don't have a lot of harmony or direction in our There. Good girl, Cass. It's not going to be ugly. It's just they think differently. Buddy wants to be pushy. She says, back off. I told you no. And I mean it. The girl cat. Now these dogs are all very appropriate to spend time together. The boy Skip. You see the guy from OSHA here, or from the big city? He has no desire to play with those dogs. Willie just thinks he's very self-important. 
And truthfully, all he's doing is insulting the bigger players. He's not taking them serious. He's actually very hard for them to control because she's trying to tell them what to do and he's just pushing. Good boy, Ben. Look at the salesman. Trying to sell trying to sell Benny and everybody else things they don't want, don't need, and can't afford. He doesn't care. Do that? And he's happy about it. Yeah, but he's happy about it. Good boy, Tobe. I know. Jake is marking his territory, by the way. His pictures are on everybody's desk. He will pass out his cards to everybody. He wants everyone to remember him. Now, if this were a company, what do we really need in this company? We need some real leadership. We have capable young guys to do that, but they haven't had the experience, so therefore they they hit Jake or they or Willie. They don't know what to do, buddy. They don't know what to do. They need to be taught. Now this is where you can get into real problems letting your dog interact with other dogs. These dogs have all been conditioned to be low-level toy-like. Now, when we let a little dog play with big dogs, they take on the confidence that it takes to deal with big dogs. Roy, knock it off. Roy is a toy. Drama is his favorite thing. He's very self-important. But his value is not in running the company. Good boy, Ben. Good girl, Cassie. Those two young executives don't have the power. See, they're sitting right there by Steven. They don't have the power to run this company. They're worried about it because they can't make the, they can't make the employees do anything. Because a couple of little hotshot guys have proven to the rest of them that they are in charge, not the executive. Scary Okay, this is Diva. Very young, capable little girl. Actually, Benny is her father, but she has more confidence than her father. Buddy, quit. Okay. Now, Diva has a little better, more leadership qualities. See, Cassie packed him right off. They will each seek a level, and they will maintain that level, or they will lose or get a promotion. But it will never just automatically stay that same rank. Good luck, buddy. Now she's young, inexperienced, but she knows what the, you know, she's in here just seeking a, a level. As bossy as Skippy is, and the hounds, she can't keep up with all the work. We could care less about this. Now you see Benny come up, hey, I don't like you to mark. You see Benny come up a little bit with Diva in here? But the company's still not safe. Still not safe.
Tom has the confidence. He can't stand to run a company by himself. He needs that older guy. Oh, quiet. Go to your union rep. <laughs> She's complaining. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> she wants what she wants. You want me to work here? I want a raise. I want. But it's a pretty big company, so she probably has it coming. <laughs> now, most of these jobs would be drawn to him. And a good boss, if you notice, He's not going to take a dog down just because it has an it has an opinion. But he won't let them be disrespectful to him. You see where Roy wants to be? Raised up above everybody. He wants to look down on everybody. Oh, stop. She can come in here. They're interested in, in control and in power and in rank. There's nothing concerning play here at all. If that chihuahua starts running, and he's not, by the way, he knows better than to run because these terriers are chasing down, they knock it off. They want harmony, they want control. So if we had an argument or a person was involved, that raised one of those lesser dogs up above the more higher functioning dogs, we would have a dog fight. They want order. And there's only order when there's a rank established and maintained. Bob is taking fingerprints, job interviews. He may fire some of these guys, and they probably need it. This is way too big a company for that one little hound to keep up with all the work. Our boutique has gotten way out of control. Oh, quiet. And you took over Z's house? <laughs> Bully. Go go Z. She's looking for an office. See that? They're interested in, in control and in power 
and in rank. There's nothing concerning play here at all. If that chihuahua starts running, and he's not, by the way, he knows better than to run because these terriers are chasing down and knock it off. They want harmony. They want control. So if we had an argument or a person was involved that raised one of those lesser dogs up above the more higher functioning dogs, we would have a dog fight. They want order. And there's only order when there's a rank established and maintained. Eva would quit. 
This is a dog who's being raised to be somewhat of a service dog. She's not used to going out there with this tough stuff. So with the service dogs, kind of one of the keys is you can't allow them to go in and be tough and over a lot of other dogs. Even Bach, who's a powerful little dog, who could, he's not going in there trying to whip everybody. A service dog has to accept their position. Now, he shouldn't be wimpy and take everything, but it has to have an, he has to have an attitude of service. Cassie, too, has been raised with an attitude of service. She goes to work every day, wears a vest. She's right there in front of you, Stephen. Right there. The little one sitting there. She goes to work with Janice every day. City of Denver. She goes to meetings. Travels everywhere. So, Cassie has the attitude of service. Diva has the attitude of service. Bach has the attitude of service. Benny actually has the attitude of service. Unfortunately, we want Benny to have a show attitude. Benny's hesitant. Benny needs to be around the tougher guys instead of the softer ones. So he needs to spend time with Gadget. Now, London making a statement, she can't defend it. She's taller than Buddy. Look at that <laughs> The look. So, come on. Go in there. Whoops. No, you can handle it. Of course, it'll be fine. Well, this is scary. This is really scary. For Carly, too. Now we're good. We're good. Well, that's true. Now, this is where a human needs to be really involved in this. He wants to leave now. <laughs> he, he, she's already told him he's not quite material for their company. The new policies are going to take over now. So anytime you add a dog, you change the, the whole makeup of the pack. Now he got involved. Knock it off. She doesn't like me. They're picking on me. Good girl. Look at that Airedale. With all the confidence in the world, she struts around that company inspecting, assessing. And believe me, she would want to correct too. With that Airedale, there is harmony. Look at the executives trying to you know, they feel better. They do. That's confidence. Even the gadget, president of the little boutique. Good girl, car. Oh, yeah. They leave the big boys alone. Yeah. You see the toy department back off. They have nothing to do with running the company. See, Benny has executive abilities. He just needs them developed. He needs not be with a dog that takes him down, but that brings him up. He has trouble when they call him into the office and, you know. Um, that's a passel of dogs. Good boy, Coop. <laughs> now, Cooper should be able to run this place. He's been raised more toy-like. He's not a big, tough Airedale, but he's powerful. Look at Buddy. <laughs> Buddy has no sense. Look at that. He just wants to be important. Now, the accountant has to take the pertinent information for the file. 
for babies, they have to go around to all of the dogs. This is what raising a dog appropriately and conditioning them appropriately gets you. Not silly, excuse me, not silly play. Harmony. This is order. Now we have a heck of a lot more little sales girls than we have people running this company. The ones that are running the company need to do it appropriately. Now we've got big, hey, we've got big CEO corporate. We've got a guy who, not really leadership, but he's back her up. He wouldn't be president, but he could be vice president or on the board. We've got a heck of a nice little girl running this company, the smaller company. She's got individuals that would back her up. She's got salesmen. She's got a good accountant. Roy, back it off. Poor Cooper. They're being too tough on him. Look at that. Roy, back off. Isn't that sad? That rotten little Roy? Roy, back off. You have a meeting at 3 o'clock. But I, I can't go to... You have a meeting at 3 o'clock. <laughs> good boy, good girl, Car. She knows where it is. Now, dogs are born with this knowledge. It's when humans give them the idea that they have more importance, or when humans pull them out of a situation instead of teaching them to deal with it. Roy, knock it off. How come Carly doesn't, or Cooper doesn't correct Roy? Cooper is a toy. He is a toy Airedale. So, well, he lives with Nancy. Who does he challenge? He's been raised to be the low guy on the phone pole. Which is beautiful for Nancy. Nancy doesn't need someone that challenges her. Willie has been raised in a home where there's two people that dote on him. Why wouldn't he think he's the toughest guy in the sky? Buddy has been pulled away from, thank you, pulled away from situations as a rescue dog. He had to be. He was tough. He's mouthy, he's opinionated, and that's the way kind of the breed is, first of all. But second of all, when um, Colleen first started to come, Colleen would take him out of situations and protect him rather than teach him to deal with it. There's nothing wrong with Buddy. Being an appropriate, pushy little salesman, little receptionist. If you if you can push people around, that's who she wants guarding the desk so they can, she can, they can stop her before they come to her. That could be an executive secretary. Now, if if she can, he's, Roy isn't bothering gadgets. He's bothering the corporate. Gadget's sitting back watching. If that corporate woman takes it, then the gadget knows where her, uh, good girl car. Carly's really, really appropriate because she's just come to check the company out and she's telling her why you keep it up, buddy. So at that point, we have to kind of intervene sometimes, but truthfully, Roy's doing what Roy does. Willie's out of his 
week. <laughs> this is a new way to do rescue. You can't just bring that dog into your home, because I'll guarantee you, you would still have him. Rescue need without education, without rehabilitation, is worthless. Rescue with rehabilitation is the most awesome thing in the world. Right, Carly? The queen has spoken. <laughs>